Hi, Lonnie. Hi, President Obama. How are you? How you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. Okay. A big day today in Chicago. Well, I tell you what, you know, I am hoping that everybody who has not already voted is getting out and voting today. I mean, we had a great time being back home, uh, had a great rally in the Midway. But you know, the truth of the matter is, even though we had 30,000 people come to the rally, there are a lot of folks out there who still haven't gotten the message that this is a really important election, making sure folks have health care when they need it, making sure that young people are able to get college scholarships. All those things that we've worked on so hard for the last couple of years are at stake. And the key is going to be everybody turning out to vote. And some issues that a lot of young people have concerns about, such as student loans and health care reform, how does the turnout of today's election affect those things? Well, let me give you a very specific example. We took tens of billions of dollars in the student loan program that was going to big banks, and we put those into the Pell Grant program and making the student loan program more affordable for young people. Now, the Republicans, they want to roll that back to help pay for a tax cut for millionaires and billionaires. So if the Republicans uh, have their way, they would be able to cut the budget for education by 20 percent. And that means that young people directly could see their Pell Grants reduced by 20 percent or their loans reduced by a certain percentage at a time when education is expensive and necessary. Right. Uh, and that's just one example of the kinds of things that are at stake here if we're not serious about this election and if people aren't turning out to vote. Now, in the event that Republicans regain control of the Congress, what do you feel are the keys to gaining bipartisan support for passives for future legislation? My hope is, is that I can cooperate with Republicans, but obviously the kinds of compromises that are going to be made will depend on what Capitol Hill looks like. You know, who's in charge? If we've got Republicans in charge in the House, then they will want to dictate the terms of those compromises. That means that their desire to roll back health care reform, uh, which they've already announced, or their desire to roll back financial regulatory reform that they've already announced, you know, that's going to be their agenda. They're going to try to move that forward. And if we rolled back health care reform, for example, that would mean that young people who right now are able to stay on their parents' health insurance till they're 26 years old, they might lose that health insurance. It might mean that seniors who are you know, getting help buying their prescription drugs, that they get less help. You know, so, again, there are very concrete results coming out of this election, and the question I have to everybody who's listening, if you haven't voted, why not take that little bit of time to make sure that you are helping to shape the future uh, for yourselves and your family, to make sure that you can keep on getting ahead? How can people get involved in politics and get a better understanding outside of Election Day? Outside of Election Day, I think, obviously, reading the newspapers, listening to the news shows on GCI, listening to you know the commentary out there, that's always useful. Talk to your friends, talk to your neighbors. Go on the White House website. We're always talking about issues. For those who voted for me and think that we are doing a good job here at the White House in getting this country out of the mess that was created by the previous administration, I can tell you personally that this election is really important and uh, people really need to turn out today. Knowing what you know now, is there anything you wish you would have done differently regarding the health care reform since you've been getting a lot of pushback with that? No, we knew it was going to get pushed back because the insurance companies uh, don't want to give up profits. Mm -hmm. And they found it uh, advantageous to drop people when they got sick or exclude people from coverage if they had a pre-existing condition. And no major initiative has ever gone through without some pushback. The Civil Rights Bill got a lot of pushback, but it was the right thing to do. Social Security got pushback, but it was the right thing to do. And so I, I have no regrets at all. I will regret if we have trouble implementing it because uh, we did not hang on to the House and the Senate here in Washington. And that's, again, one of the reasons I need people to get out there and vote. One of Chicago's local producers, rappers, Rhyme Fest, running for alderman. How do you feel about that? You've incorporated a lot of hip-hop into your campaign and in your term. You know, i got to admit, I have not been following the aldermanic races closely in Chicago, but I think it's terrific to have people get involved. I mean, I, you know, I think it's great to have young people deciding you know, they're going to take the plunge and uh, make sure that their voices are heard. And, you know, I, I think that whether you're a voter, whether you're a community activist, whether you're a candidate, uh, we all have something to contribute. Uh, but today is Election Day, so I just want to make sure, Bonnie, before I sign off, I just repeat one more time. I need everybody to turn out to the polls today. You can make a difference today, and how well I'm able to move my agenda forward over the next couple of years is going to depend in part on folks back home having 
fight back. Thank you so much, President Obama. You heard him. Get out and vote today. If you need to locate the nearest polling station, log on to my blog, LonnieSwain.com. I have a full listing. Also, your voter rights and what we're voting for today, LonnieSwain.com.